Yo, it's Sway. 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 In the morning. 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 Only on Shade 45. Wake your fuck ass up. Yeah. Bitches. Wow, Sway in the morning, shade four, five, seven minutes past the top of the hour. Now, if you do not recognize that clip, that is a clip from The Exorcist. The Exorcist, ladies and gentlemen, citizens, Linda Blair is here. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Do you know that was a classic, classic piece? Does anybody know what they just heard? Do you know what you just heard? You just heard the dialogue as I gave the dialogue without the demon voice on top of it. Do you realize? What, I've never heard it before. That was me, which people know that was me. Right, right. The, the, like I was, did you hear how low, how little high my voice was? That was me saying the dialogue. Right. And then Mercedes McCambridge came in and they did the whole thing. And that's how the voice ended up like that. But do you realize you just heard it without the, the voice? No, I didn't realize that, but you just scared the shit out of me doing that voice right there. Can you do that voice again, Linda? Can you do the voice? Uh, very happy to see you today. That's what? not that good, though, today. See, I didn't, my, my voice, I, you know, it's <laughs> long hours. <laughs> Did you make that voice up? Did you create that voice? No. Um, well, what you just heard on that clip was me speaking the the dialogue right. way way back um, years ago, and then Mercedes McCambridge, Billy Freakin, many people were involved in California in doing all the looping, like you work on the on you know with microphones and in radio and so on, and in feature films, well, like uh, with cartoon movies, you'll see people doing different voices. Hey, how you doing, buddy? And you know, mm -hmm. so it's just sound effect voices. And that was Mercedes McCambridge that dubbed on top of the voice you just heard a second ago. Sway in the morning, shade four or five. Linda Blair is here. Do you still do, do you do voiceover work at all um, one as an would, actress? One would think that I would. I, um, I actually, I'm from New York, so I'm a Connecticut girl who did modeling way before you were born. <laughs> I was doing modeling and commercials in New York. Mm -hmm. And so when I was about 12 or 13 years old, I told my mother I didn't want to work in the business anymore. I wanted to be a veterinarian. So right. she said, okay. And that's when the interview for The Exorcist came along. It was the number one novel many years ago. Everybody get really excited. And so the movie, no one knew it was going to change anybody's lives, right. let alone mine. So years later, yes, I dabble in voiceover work, but not as much as I'd really like to do voiceover work because it's it's actually a very nice working income to have. <laughs> wow. Well, we were all here talking about The Exorcist prior to you walking in, and we didn't realize that this movie was came out in 1973. Before you were born. Well, in 1973, <laughs> and when I was telling a friend of mine last night, I was like, oh, my goodness, Linda Blair is coming on the show. The first thing he said to me was, Linda Blair, do you notice she used to date Rick James? Mm -hmm. Is that true? You know, I have not been asked that in so long. So there was. Wait, 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 wait. We want to hear this. We want to hear this story. You are listening to Cold Blooded by Rick James. Why? Because Linda Blair is here. And she used to date Rick James. I know, citizens. I know you can't believe it. I couldn't believe it either. Linda. And you just said, first of all, I heard that cold-blooded was about you. Is that true? <laughs> Let me know. Because I, 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 I love stories. What's it worth to you? <laughs> oh, mommy. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> what is it worth? I, I would just love to know if that's true or not. Uh, he said it was. That's. But, hey, here's how it goes. Rick James was as big a talent as we have ever known. It was he was admired from one end of the planet to the other. He was a huge superstar. Mm -hmm. And so one day uh, there was an article that came out. It, one of the things was, who's your favorite, you know, who's your favorite musician? It was like, oh, yeah, you know, Rick James. And That's what you said. Huge. Right. Everybody loved Rick James. And the next thing I know, I get a phone call. And so that's how the friendship, that's how a lot of celebrities reach out to, to each other. And then um, he was just an amazing person that funny, 
Mm-hmm. A lot of comedians were around him, and a lot of people don't realize how funny Rick was. And he was a uh, an amazing talent. I mean, he wrote half of his songs, his his uh, his hits in. 30 minutes. Well, we did have an opportunity to know how funny Rick James was. He actually did a few episodes of the Dave Chappelle show and yes. he did a special <laughs> segment. We got to find out how funny he was. It's Sway in the morning. Only on Shea 45.